all right welcome back so we got both my outcast 8s ready to run in red exp roller that uh i've got cocan motors in both but game changer had basically announced a drop on the 4th of July so that's what this video is about I went ahead and got them cleaned up today um, color sand and buff the bodies just to remove some of the scratches um, they will get beat up more um, but just trying to make them more presentable um, and then Something I checked today, because I've run both of these, you know, I keep checking these tires, and they haven't shrunk. They're still bigger than the ready-to-run tires, and I don't know why that is. It looks like the backs are starting to even out, but the fronts are still a little bit bigger. And I know on my ready to run, I replaced two of the tires um, because I had a blowout. So I ended up ripping one of the tires and had to change them. So I'm kind of curious if these back ones, which I believe they are, are the replacement ones, which match the size here. And the front ones are the original ones. Um, but it is what it is. You know, um, even though they have the same part number. It's differently, it definitely has a different size. But we're going to get this body removed. I'm going to get this body removed. So now we can see what we're working with. Did you guys tilt it down a little bit? I'm going to put a link in the description um, straight to the Game Changer fans. These are the fans that uh, that uh, Game Changer, his new fans, his uh, Typhoon fans, or Typhoon fans, um, literally written on the side. We'll take a look at that. Um, I have it set up on a 4S connector. It does run on 3S, so um, depending how you need it, um, let Game Changer know. I am going to put a link to the basic two fan combo um, without the heat sink, but he does offer it with a heat sink. You just have to let him know um, that's something you're looking for, and he will be uh, he will be adding that stuff as well. So let's take a listen. amazes me every time I turn those fans on how powerful they are and how much air they pull so I also run a game changer over here um, and this one I do run on a 3s um, battery but I do have it trimmed out so that I could just plug it into the other balance port on the other b battery into a 4s plug so basically this fan is going to run off this battery these dual fans are going to run off this battery 
that way I'm not adding another battery into this uh, car anymore this is his V1 fan I do have a screen on the inside and I did add the screens to the inside of this so to keep a bunch of the rocks from going into the fans So that's the way I did it. This is a Mamba Monster X 8S into my EXB. And this is a 2028, uh, what I call a Coke can motor, 800 kV. I'm running it non-censored, even though it is a censored motor. In a basher, the sensors basically have, um, they get damaged right away. Another thing I'd suggest is because the motor mount is aluminum. If you check temps on a on a Coke can motor, the front temp will always be cooler because this motor tends to pull out some of the heat from the motor. So if you're gonna go ahead and put the heat sink in, face the heat sink towards the rear of the motor so that you can keep the temps pretty even across this. As you see, the fan hangs over on this side, basically cooling this and the motor mount to keep this at operating temperature so that you can continue to run and then the heat sink is pulling the heat soak out of the back of the motor along with this other fan that's the way this dual fan is uh, set up and it works really really good during my testing they are etched in now for the typhoon fans so your typhoon fans will come with that this is the first to get this labeling. And then of course, the carbon fiber cover and the stainless steel bolts along with the locking nuts. Hardware provided with a game changer on this combination. It's a really good combination. Like I said, if you don't have fans and you're running a stock system, well, stock as far as the way you guys have set yours up this is the PPS mount that I run down here bolt it here along with this aluminum plate will actually suck heat out into this whole assembly so we got a fan hanging over here to cool that heat sink back here set up cooling on the second fan so you'll just clip it on and then run two zip ties around it I ended up running four zip ties because I took a six inch zip tie, wrapped it across the bottom, six inch zip tie, wrapped it across the top. So it's two zip ties, two zip ties right through the center of this to hold this whole assembly on. It does clip on, but it will pop off. You need something to hold it down to the motor as tight as you can. When he had sent this, it was a little loose. With the palm of my hand, I squeezed it closed to get a tighter fit to the motor so that you get a little snap on. You want it touching the motor as tight as possible so that it'll suck some of that heat out and you can go ahead and cool the heat sink with the second fan. This one is running a Max 5. I'm running the stock fan for now. This fan is gonna get changed out with a game changer fan. And then this is gonna get the dual fan set up just like this now i will be running an updated fan here this is going to be a, a two into one setup that we're going to put onto this one and i'll show you that um, as soon as that stuff comes it is on the way but just a little update you can order the fan combinations now get your orders in as fast as you can because these are not going to last they're literally the pies flowing fans they are a game changer um, when you're running these coke can motors and these bigger fifth scale RCs um, you really need something that's going to pack a punch and as you can tell these things are packing a punch you can hear it compared to the way game changer did his V1 fans um, and these work great um, I ran these a lot and uh, they were they were awesome but this is truly a game changer when it comes to what game changer has been up to. 
We're going to take a listen again. All it wants to do is blow this around. As you see, it's sucking air in from this side, this side, and really cooling the motor down. Um, I'm telling you guys, it, it's something I've never seen, and uh, I have a ton of Game Changer fans. And literally, this is, this is honestly a Game Changer. So I have tilted them over a little bit, just so they're not straight up and down. Um, for those upside down impacts um, I don't know what else I could say but I'm going to put the link to these in the description I suggest everybody as soon as they see it don't hold back um, get them ordered as soon as possible he, he d is limited to the quantity that he does have um, they will come back into stock I just don't know when um, he's working on more product, but he's got a bunch set up to get them out and shipped out and they're ready to ship So get them ordered up on the fourth and on the fifth a bunch of orders are going to go out So there we go guys like comment subscribe And we will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching Shout out to Game Changer. You truly are changing the game when it comes to keeping our RCs nice and cool. Now I can get that long run time I've been looking for without overheating these motors. So appreciate all you do. And happy anniversary, Game Changer. It's been one year as of the fourth that he started the company and started building fans for all of us out there. So give them a shout out, say happy anniversary, tell them that's what Earl's saying, and uh, get some fans ordered up, guys. Thanks for watching.